Now this illustration uh, types in accordance with NEC 400.4 reminds you very clearly that you have to have a type of cord that is listed in 400.4. Now we're talking about flexible cords and cables with the attachment caps, male or female, involved. And then by the approval of the authority having jurisdiction in accordance with 90.4 and 400.4, we can field assemble cards. And then the note again says yes. And if the type of cable or cord you're using is not in uh, NEC 400.4, the authority having jurisdiction could approve such a cable a wiring type method, a flexible cord or cable type that's not listed in NEC 400.4. Uh, if you get with them ahead of time and uh, get their permission uh, that you want to use this and uh, how it's listed from the manufacturer and so forth. And you can see that any flexible cord uh, male attachment cap fully complies with 400.4. And here we target the field assembly cards that tell us we can do this in 240.5b4. Then we have the uses, and the uses is not permitted in 400.10 and 400.12. So this is a summary of the types of cords that we would want to review in 400.4 to see if they are a, a listed type uh, outline there. If not, and we're using something that's uh, not outlined there in 400.4, we need to check with the authority having jurisdiction and see if the note for, uh, uh, that you see above in reference to 400.4 and table 400.4, if what we're using would be equivalent to that or better than. And that's uh, what most of the uh, 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 inspectors are telling me that's what they will go by if they're going to approve it at all. So keep that in mind, 400.4 and 90.4 for field assembly cards and those cards and cables that are not of a type that's uh, identified in NEC 400.4.